Oh, this was food I had in Sochi. This was like a weird thing. It was a poached egg on top of salmon, on top of avocado, on top of a waffle, on top of another waffle, almost on top of a tomato, on top of a plate, on top of a table, on top of like the little outdoor seating area that we were eating at. Anyway, it would be cool to just have like a giant avocado as my green screen. Let's move on. Let's play Uno Mas. I'll play, well, we'll do random sub. So, uh, good luck to. Uh, good luck to this person. Let's play E4. <laughs> oh, pan with the leftover bits. Oh, opponent's offline. We might, uh, might get a new opponent. Or not. Okay. <clears throat> Stafford Gambit time? Maybe this time I'll actually go into a Stafford. And show how it's done. I'm actually curious if my opponent has watched my most recent YouTube video. I guess we're about to find out. If you've seen the most recent YouTube video, you, you'll know what move Vox should play in this position. Or if you've even seen the thumbnail. Yeah, th this position is on my uh, most recent YouTube thumbnail. Wow. <laughs> so now I'm encountering... I'm encountering the refutation to the refutation which I'm going to try and refute. G5. So, okay. So I know Bishop E2 is not a good move because Queen D4 castling G4. I know Black wants to do this stuff. So... In Rosen face. Let's play B4. Let's just make things even spicier. Like sometimes when you add some pepper to your avocado toast or your eggs, then you just want to add some some sriracha and then some hot sauce, some sambal. Just make things even more spicy. Increase the flavor. So I was saying earlier how sometimes pawns just get in the way of things. So this pawn was getting in the way of my my rook and my bishop. The rook wants to enjoy the file. Bishop wants to enjoy the diagonal, especially because these pieces are aligned and there's no g-pawn to support the knight. So opponent is probably just flustered. I feel like this is a novelty too. Because this move is like super, super rare. Only been played a few dozen times. Okay, so now it's a question. Do I do this or this or this? I wanted to play this, but after takes, 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 I'm just suffering. So let's play queen f3. Staying flexible, pressuring the knight, supporting this knight. If takes, takes, there's a pin, and then potential battery. Whoa, pass pawn, quadruple nine. Gifting five. Thank you, pass pawn. Again, no pass pawns in this position. But maybe later. Yeah, and I still have the ideas of this. New haircut. Maybe this. Oh, good won't help your game, though. Oh, I feel like that's a compliment and an insult, but I feel like it, it could help my game. I have less hair to get in the way of my ability to move pieces. Wow, G4. There's a sad line, takes, takes, queen f4, takes, takes, and then I get mated on d1. I 
I think I'll play Queen E3. Just uh, safe swear, still supporting the knight, leaving the tension between the pawns. Maybe supporting E5 in the near future. The thing about this position, Black's king has no safe place to go. It's not super safe in the center. Casting, of course, is not safe with my potential. Casting queenside walks into my half-open b-file. Yeah, I'm ready, ready to like complete development relatively naturally. Yeah, as Black, I I would be a bit perplexed here, like what to do. I don't want to give black clues either. Like, I'm not going to start suggesting moves. Ooh, a5. a5 could be useful. Rook b1 no longer actually threatens to take the bishop. Yeah, let's play this. I might end up casting queenside and then play d4 and just have a nice center. Or I might go insane and eventually play knight d5. Like, this is a move to consider further down the road. Or maybe even right now. Because takes, takes. No, probably not right now. Man, what is this position? I think I'll play a3. It feels like a slow move, but the bishop doesn't really have a great option. If it takes, I take with queen and get the battery. Moves here, I take it. Moves here, I fork. Moves here, it's kind of sad. Ooh. Okay, so I could win the bishop right away, or I could fork and potentially win more material. Ooh, there's a funny line. Okay, I'm going to take. So, first of all, okay, I'm pinning the, the thing to the thing. So black wants to regain the pawn. There's queen digs before. But then after bishop a3, this is almost trapping the queen. I'm preventing the queen from retreating along the diagonal. I'm controlling all these squares. Except... Except b6. b6 is covered by the pawn. So if queen b6, I then play bishop c5, again almost trapping the queen. The queen will have to move to b2, only safe square. Rook b1, almost trapping the queen. Only safe square is to take on c2. And then I think after bishop d3, the queen is officially trapped on c2. I hope I'm not missing anything, but I'm pretty sure this is the case. Oh, there's a question what I'm drinking from. It's from this uh, Fide branded World Cup thermos type thing. And the cover to it also acts as a cup. So it's kind of a cool contraption. But not as cool as this tactical sequence to trap Black's queen. Yeah, the pieces really work together here. So the bishops control squares. The rook's gonna come in. The knight serves knight actually like serves a very good purpose, controlling a2 and b1. And there's no real way for black to effectively counterattack. That queen is pretty safe. King is very safe. Okay, so we're we're going into like the whole line I I was just mentioning. Yeah, it's important the bishop covers a3. And okay, oh no, black's queen. And conveniently, I take with the knight on b1 to set up for the next game. I realized the other day that a really nice benefit to online chess is you don't really need to set up the pieces after every game. Like when you play over the board, usually when you end the game, you reset the board. But online, it's easy to be so spoiled. 
Let's play this move. Attacking the knight. Oh, I'm getting forked. Oh no. Ah, checkmate. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a nice way to end the stream and probably end the future YouTube video. Hope you enjoy that. If you're watching in the future on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and buy merch.